perennial vegetables in the polytunnel. At the moment, I'll show you, there's quite a few, <laughs> there's quite a few, you know, traditional polytunnel um, crops. So we've got aubergines, tomatoes, uh, sweet peppers here, some chard which is going over is going to be replaced. But we also have some more perennial stuff. So there is a grapevine and there is some Cape gooseberry and this is my experiment uh, for overwintering the Cape gooseberry so that it will be quicker to grow and it certainly was I cut it right back they're really really tall plants they were like um, where's my hand they're like two meters tall um, so I cut them right back at winter uh, at winter time didn't water them at all and then they kind of sprouted up so I don't know if you can see that there's lots of there's lots of little stems coming up, which is great because it's meant that they've they've kept much, much lower. And I've staked them in. These are brilliant. These are like uh, spacer bits of timber from a timber yard. They kind of practically give them away for free, like 10 pence each or something. But they're great for staking up um, tomatoes and bush tomatoes and, and Cape gooseberries. Um, so these are fantastic. And they started flowering a couple of, a few weeks ago back in maybe April and these are the little flowers and uh, so that's lovely and the bees love them and the fruits have started to set already so normally last year this didn't happen until October November so yeah really really pleased with that um, so they make a fantastic jam as well so that's our bed of Cape gooseberry which is a kind of first perennial um, crop that I started growing I did try perennial chili peppers but they didn't overwinter they didn't make it so okay uh, there we go hope you enjoyed that <laughs> and um yep see you again soon bye